Hi parents, compliment of the season to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We are so happy to be here today. We thank God for the grace and for the opportunity that God has given to us to be alive. God has been so merciful to us. King of Kings, we say thank you for being a merciful God. Thank you God because you, you are faithful even in our faithfulness. God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. Thank you so much, God. Thank you over the life of our parents on this platform. Thank you over our whole life. Thank you, God. You are God the beginning and the end. And you are God that knows the end from the beginning. We give you all the glory. We thank you for this wonderful 2019. It can only be you. Thank you so much, God. Father, we thank you. So, parents, today we are not going to say much. We just want to use today this Monday to acknowledge God to say thank you to God for his grace for the opportunity God has given to us to start this program in 2000 to tell you that parent please try your best to acknowledge God this new year it is really important the Bible says we should seek forth his kingdom that every other thing will be added unto us so in year 2019 period let's try our best you know to seek God first Good morning welcome to another edition of three minutes talk with parents my name is Joy Today, parents, I'll be discussing on make your child a priority in the year 2019. Parents, it is high time we make our children our priority in year 2019. Our children are our guaranteed future and they are our number one assignment on heart. So it is important we look into investing into them. Parent, at the end of the day, we are going to give an account on how we've trained our children. So let's make them a priority in year 2019. What do I mean by making them a priority? Parent, we can say to ourselves that in year 2019, I am going to be more intentional in my parenting. I am going to. Today, I'll be speaking on some of the effective ways by which we can correct our children. Parents, when we are correcting our children, let's ensure that we are telling them the reason why we are correcting them. Parents, don't just shout on them. Don't just, oh, you know, we are not allowed to beat anyway, so I'm not going to use the word beating. Don't just smack or spank them, you know, um, without telling them the reason why you are doing this. And if you don't tell them, then the purpose of doing that is forfeit because they don't know. But times when you scream, leave their girl out. They feel what is wrong with mommy. Mommy is becoming horrible. Daddy is behaving somehow because they don't really get the information. Parent, today I'll be talking on workaholic parent. Parent, this is very lovely, you know, to be hardworking, you know, to be able to take care of your family, to be able to pay your bills, take care of your children, you know, live a good life, you know, to, to the maximum. But at the same time, parent, we need to look at the effect on our children. It's really important we look into this. A lot of children are being exposed to abuse as a result of, you know, dropping them over, you know, with the child minder or babysitter or trusted person, you know. And at times we think that um, because we've dropped our child with a registered child minder you know everything is fine parent not in all cases a lot of things are happening some children have been exposed you know to emotional distress you know abuse from different angles while being you know with the child minder you know we should also understand that child minder even if they know what they are doing even if they are trained they also have family members who are not trained. They have neighbors, they have friends that will come visiting them that our children will be exposed to. So parents, please um, let's reduce you know, the amount of time our children spend with babies, uh, babysitter or child minder. I understand that most parents go for the unregistered one because it is cost effective. They can stop it. Parents, please let's involve our children effectively in the house show or housework. It is really, really important for their growth. Parents are on house show varies from helping out in the kitchen with the arrangement of plate, you know, um, empty the bin, cleaning the plate, you know, arranging the wardrobe upstairs, you know, um, keeping the garden. So those are examples of, you know, house show that children 
can infer some, you know, some topics around mental health, like if someone is suffering from the depression, anxiety, you know, maybe sleep too much or have a bipolar or personal, you know, on um, 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 personal um, um, personality disorder, and you know, a lot of them, you know, of parents at times we feel that is please ensure you preach Jesus to your children ensure that your children are genuinely saved during most time we are zoom because uh, we take our children to church because uh, we read the Bible we pray with them we didn't we do normal you know religious uh, religion um, routine so we assume that our children are indeed born again we assume that they have Christ and that they've known Jesus they've you know they have Jesus as their Lord and their Savior but most time parents we might be wrong so it is really important to ensure Hi parents, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of 3 Minutes Talk with Parents. My name is Joy. Today I'll be speaking on our children assignments. Um, parents, as we all know that after our classes um, on Saturdays, we give our children assignments, you know, we give them take home. So in order for them, you know, to, you know, to relate what they've learned, you know, to their daily lives. So parents, um, the purpose and the aim is for you to Speak positive words into the life of your children. Parent is really fantastic when you cultivate a habit of saying positive things into the life of your children. Even the Bible says that we should um, that you speak it and it shall be as we are able, you know, to manage our differences, our issues without involving our children at home. I know I've discussed this um, topic few um, weeks ago, but this is just an hard on. So, here, please, nice, um, critically, you know, look into it. The word of God is um, active and is alive, and it is sharper than any two edges sword. So, and the word of God is God Himself, according to, according to the book of um, John, chapter one, and with the word of God, all things we need the word of God, you know, to remove, to transform, to redeem, to restore, to heal their lives. So parents, let's ensure that our children are reading their Bible. Positive things into the life of our children. Um, when we speak negative um, into the life of our children, we tend to break them. We bring confusion into their lives. And children feel, well, they are not possible that they are not acceptable so they are not good because like you've said to them and they tend to behave irrationally so parents please let's let our parents understand what we mean by our chats show and what we are looking forward you know to do during the chat show so parent like its name says so it's just um, a platform whereby we invite one or two or three of our parents you know to come on board you know to just have a chat on the topic that we had last week was do not be afraid we children of god must not be afraid hmm. we must believe in jesus christ and he will and he will give us the spirit you will give us the spirit. We need to be watchful. We need to be careful of what we say into the life of our children. Um, currently, uh, we've taught our children this topic, who I am. And we've said a lot of things to our children, what they have, especially in Christ. Hi, parents. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of our three minutes talk with parents. Today we'll be discussing on the new program we are bringing on board, which is our class overview. Class overview, glorious Christian children class overview. So this is just um, an abstract of like a window to what we've been teaching. Um, over to you. What does absolute father means to you personally? What does that word sound? Yeah, well, uh, to start with, uh, you've really spoken well about what the absentee father really means. <laughs> and I don't even know if I can even say much about it. But to me, as you put that question personally, after uh, absentee father uh, means uh, enough. When the father comes in, you will see that child mm -hmm. getting up. Mm -hmm. And the mother will be saying, oh, I've been telling you to do these things, but now that you see your father, so that figure is very important. So it is a must. And in the United States here, yeah, there is a program 
um, for the uh, for the fathers that are not responsible, they call it child support. Mm -hmm. So if it is not a must, the government will not put up. I think you have it in United Kingdom also. Yeah. So a father that refuses to be responsible, the government will make them or force them to be responsible. What is God's intention for godly parenting? So uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. And as you listen, may the to be a godly mother today. Hmm. It is, you know, both vice for children. When you have a godly mother, it's a blessing. And to you, the greatest gift as a mother that you can give to your children too is to be a godly mother today. Hmm. But we can we know in our society, sadly, what we are seeing today, you know, two of you. But the man tell you, and I want you to show part of your body. I want a strapless uh, dress. This is what I love in, in women's life. Ah, and you too, you do the same thing. Then the man suit up, put on maybe put on a, a pink shirt with a white white suit, and he go out to follow him. The man is a normal man. Why you lady is a mad woman? God will help us in Jesus name. Amen. And you are doing this where you have children. You have children that is looking up, up to you. Bringing them up in oneness of mind, in unity. Hmm. When the mom when the mom is saying, hey, let the father say A. When the mom is saying B, let the father say B. When the father is saying yes, let the mom say yes. It's not that somebody is holding them, another person is spoiling them. Another person, one 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 person is keeping the rod, and some and one other person is bearing the rod. I mean, um, children children of, of nowadays, it's 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 a known fact that they want to explore, they want to do their own things, their own way. They want their choices to be to be to be to 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 be heard and to started and they started reading. The confidence just came mm. from nowhere, and that's what reading does it mm. gives children confidence it helps their social skills it helps them psychologically and it helps them in their education because mm. they will they will be able to reach um what problems in maths they will be able to study science and they will be able to do I told you that emmanuela you'll be teaching on the kids on um, next week so how do you feel and what was your experience during the uh, session and after over to you darling Thank you, Joy. So when Auntie Joy told me that I was going to teach the children, I felt really happy and grateful because it will boost up my confidence and it will help me with my relationship with Good morning to you, a lot of great. Welcome to another edition of our class overview, Class Century Class Overview. So a few weeks ago we discussed about this series that we're having it once in a month or twice in a month on this platform. So this morning we we'll are discussing on our previous um class on um, um, self-love as it is. It means um the ability to love oneself, the ability to you know to be responsible for one self um self and for one's well-being. So parents, we want you to love yourself, honestly, because um, if you don't love yourself, you can't love us, your children. Now I know you've seen every time, and we're having an event with our children in Manchester, so this will give us another way to see our children. Um, um, may God help you, and as you support us, may God support you, may God bless you, and may your children prosper in everything in life, and may you have peace over everything that you have, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.